Welcome to Proform Professional. At this point, I will assume that you've completed the installation process and are seeking guidance on how to use a system builder or pointers to enable you to develop your own systems to get you started. So in this video, I demonstrate how to enter and evaluate a simple system using the Proform Professional software. In another video, I discuss the theory behind how to develop systems but shown on the screen are the results of a system we shall use today. The system covers all race types, i.e. all weather, turf and national hunt. And the results shown are from 1997 to the present day. Like all good systems, the rules are simple. Back any horse that placed last time out and run it again within seven days. If you add a few common sense filters, you can potentially use a system to provide you with modest but regular profits and the system offers plenty of scope to develop your own slant. Let's see how we can set up the criteria for this system in the Proform System Builder. The concept behind the System Builder is to enable queries against the horse racing database to find profitable strategies for backing, laying and trading horses. We achieve this in Proform using an easy to manage three-step concept. This means choosing the parameters of our system, which can be a specific item such as a certain race course, jockey, or range of numerical values such as age or weight. So for our system, we need to first restrict our search to horses that placed last time out, and this option can be found on the horse last time out tab. In the finishing position, we enter expression characters to constrain the system builder to horses that have placed in the first three last time out. Our next system rule is to look at horses that are returning to racing within seven days of their last race. This restriction can be set under the horse tab in the days since last run area. This part of the concept structures how we want the data presented when the search is completed. We can change the results presentation under the Presentations tab, but for the moment we shall just present the bottom line results of the system and later on we shall display the results using a different breakdown option. Finally, this part of the process allows us to review the output of our query so we can analyse the data using simple or sophisticated statistical techniques. Therefore, with no further criteria or constraints we wish to add, we can run the system builder by pressing the green Run System button or by pressing the function key F5. The results of our system is shown on the screen. And the list of system qualifiers, i.e. horses that have placed in the first three last time out and are running again within seven days of the last run is shown here. On initial inspection, the results look good. However, our advice for any systems you develop is that you need to review the performance of the system in previous years. For this, we need to revert back to the Presentations tab and break down the results by year by selecting this option. If we run the system again by pressing the function key F5, as you can see, the system has retained profitability over the years. However, one note of caution, if you return to the base results, and review this column which details the longest losing run of the system. As I alluded previously, you can't really back blindly every single qualifier without it having a detrimental effect on your betting bank. Therefore, a few common sense filters are required to reduce the number of potential bets. This concludes our video. 
on how to enter and evaluate a simple system using the Proform Professional software. For further instructional videos, information and description options, please visit www.proformracing.com, contact us via email or contact us using the social media links shown on the screen.